it's another Saturday night with nothing but intensity. And it's been a busy week. From Saharan dust to more COVID cases, but we're still pressing on. Tanya Stevens holds our reason with us. Iwata tells us what he's been working on during lockdown. And we go into our archives for a little party just to remind you what they look like. So chillax, grab a drink, and come feel the intensity. Stevens is one entertainer who never ever holds back. So you can only imagine what she told Sanjay in this interview. Family in the building this week, none other than the, dare I say, controversial forward <laughs> Tanya Stevens. Well, go on, Tanya. Medea. You're Medea. good? <laughs> so far, yes. Well, for the most part, yes. But, you know, I have to give the but. Um, this lockdown thing is very hard to deal with that psychologically so in all other aspects my good but with that no. It's been some really trying times surreal but uh, you of all people we know have been keeping very busy. Why did you want to drop a song a day for the month of April? I needed to come out with an album <laughs> so I said all right I'll go into the album but I couldn't pick because I had so many tracks. Mm -hmm. I had like 40 odd tracks to pick from and Picking 12 to 15 tracks for an album was just, it, it was impossible for me. At the beginning of May, there was an EP dropped with new tracks. It's two albums actually we're dropping. I split them because some people who want to hear deep intellectual reasoning stuff don't really want to hear broke out. And some people want to hear broke out, don't really want to come for the reasoning. So I just split them. I made two completely separate albums, so I didn't have to, to subject anybody to the, anything they didn't want to hear. We don't like how them love put artists in a box, and them say he's a culture artist, he's a bad man artist. I don't, I'm not anything, anything when I feel inspired to say, I say it any moment I feel to say it. Because we're artists, that's how we do. Creative souls. We, yes, we right. express whatever we feel whenever we feel it. Yeah. So now it's not a teenage carelessness, it's not a 20s carelessness, it's not a 30s. Me and my part is now and it's a, it's a big old man and just as careless, but with maturity in it and yeah. responsibility in it. And I want to legalize that because I realize, as I grow, I realize say, we tend to stigmatize and criminalize growing up and aging. But what would you say is, is one of the ways in which you, you feel like you've grown uh, the most? My thought process is a little bit more deliberate. It's more, I take more time um, to do everything. I don't feel rushed into anything at all. Um, and I don't care who's waiting. You don't seem to take much time when you respond to them comment on oh, social no, 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 media. No, no, but that's a sharp, well, <laughs> let me tell you. Can I just say thanks to everybody on social media for keeping my wits sharp because I don't socialize as much as I used to. You're one of the artists that we, that we see is probably one of the most active on, on the social media platforms. What's one of the main reasons why you're so active? I have a passion for conversation mm. in general. Yeah. Um, there, there are very few topics when we, when we fixate on. Mm. And, and basically it's one topic, human rights. Human rights violations annoy the mm. out of me. Mm. And so I respond to those. You don't shy away from controversial topics as well either. A lot of times artists or even public figures in general, you know, there are certain topics they don't want to touch. They're afraid to alienate their fan base. Uh, but you don't have that fear. But they're not afraid to be offensive. If, listen, my, one of the biggest things I, that, that I struggle with is understanding the phrase, I'm entitled to my opinion. If you're entitled to your opinion, why am I, why am I not? Why is it that only you get this permission? Why are you the only one here entitled? I state my opinion, you come and you debate it. And then you hide behind, I am entitled to it. But this was my opinion, so why wasn't I <laughs> entitled to it? Yeah. I, I, I can't be afraid of exercising the same right that you exercise. Let me tell you how bad this is. Because now when we're having all these race discussions, we are capable of seeing it when it is done by another race to us. Mm -hmm. And we are calling out people for white silence. What about black silence? What about Jamaican silence? What about our silence? Yeah. When you see somebody, 
attacking me for something that you know to be right and to be true. When, when I, what have I said that was wrong? Okay, let's get back to the music now. So we have two albums on the way. Um, yes. Unnamed, apparently. <laughs> then they can't remember me name them. I think one of them is if whiskey can't fix me. And both of them are going to be dropping at the same time. Yeah, wow. but they're they're targeting different audiences. Okay. So and I mean I'm not telling anybody that they can't have them both, but I think generally speaking, most um, most people want either one or the other. Why did you take so long to come out with these albums? I'm sure people <laughs> have been asking for material for you know, for albums for a while. I don't have multiple personalities. I only have one of me. So if something is going on with me in my personal life, it goes on eh, across the board. And when I feel like I need to take some time and step back and just reflect or do some introspection, grow, whatever, I take the time. It really doesn't matter what's going on with me commercially. Because at the end of the day, Sanjay, how our, our industry is very fickle and our audience is also fickle, no matter how much of a fan they claim to be. Or what did you think about that whole debate about who was the queen of dance hall, this and that? Uh, is that a title that's even important to you? Uh, not at all. <laughs> it's never been. I, I'm not anything dance hall. I'm music and I'm, I, I would have to actually be demoted to become queen of dance hall. And no, please do not let your feather, feathers be ruffled because this is not a job at anybody. I am not dance hall. I'm dancehall and reggae roots lovers rock and alternative and everything yeah so it would mean giving up everything else to become this one thing yeah and i do not i want that i'm not interested you value the other aspects of i yourself. want to be a complete yeah, yeah. rounded and i wish the others would do the same thing too because everybody has the potential to that it doesn't mean i'm better than anybody else how do you feel about the current dancehall landscape i, I think it's cool mm. Listen, we, we, we think too much, we overthink everything. Um, first of all, dance hall is a young space. So some of the old people just need to shut up. The truth is, we don't care about the state of music. We care about imposing our beliefs, mm. our preferences on other people. And we think, we am older, just by virtue of being older, young people need to do what I say. Nobody needs to do what I say. My daughter don't give two hoots about my existence, as she shouldn't because it's fear life. Me live my life, you know. Me live a full life and me start early and me cram the years them into the months. <laughs> so I don't, I would not be rude enough for try to tell some young people, listen, me look out and me see the six them and me see Gage and all of them. The first thing when Gage dropped me, I'm not gonna lie, was a little bit jarring for me, but me understand so I'm old. So me just step back and be like, oh, I'm gonna go take my throat and go stand over here. Yeah. And then he came back with something else that somebody else might call jarring, but I like it because it speaks to my mm -hmm. kind of carelessness. Yeah. So when him say, um, Good the second, I, I, things. <laughs> I mean my talk. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect place to end this interview right now. I know we don't usually start with an interview, but we can switch it up now. Now, each week, we've been covering the fame frequency parties. Big up to all the Zoomers on a sell-off. This week is a big one, so we recommend you tune in and watch. When we get back, it's party time. What will we show you? Intense soon forward.